Silicon Valley is thousands of miles away from the Boys and Girls Club of Greater Nashua. But the lesson that Rajesh Nair is trying to impart to Gate City youth is that high-tech entrepreneurial thinking can happen anywhere. For them, uh, technology is something really far, and uh, the whole idea is to get them closer and get them to use it. Nair works in Malaysia and teaches at MIT. He's usually lighting the spark of entrepreneurship in the developing world, but will now be doing monthly workshops with these kids. They're learning hands-on a lot of activities like 3D modeling, 3D printing. Uh, they're working with soldering irons and setting up circuitry. The program is part of the Nashua Boys and Girls Club's effort to create a new innovation lab. To really have a more impact uh, with those kids that, that really struggle um, with opportunity. Closing the opportunity gap is the goal of Nashua State Rep Latha Manjapudi, who recruited Nair for this project and wants to make STEM education more accessible. To create this opportunity for the youngsters, like a sandbox, to play in. And these tools are critical tools, 21st century tools and skills. And boys, girls, haves and have nots, it doesn't matter. Julie Sage, a Penichuk Middle School 7th grader, says when she grows up, she wants to be an astrophysicist. People here are really respecting each other. We really don't care about gender here. We're just like, okay, you're here, you're smart, and you want to do this, so let's work together. And so much of how people approach technology and science starts with, I can't do that. Mm -hmm. Part of what this is trying to solve is to get these young man minds thinking of, I can do that. And these kids will be presenting their projects tomorrow at the Boys and Girls Club in Nashua between 11 and 1. Really incredible kids. I like that last sound bite there. She was adorable, <laughs> She's too. She's awesome.